where, you know, depending on my a level of teaching, I know for beginning teachers, you have to write out your lesson plans and, and so forth and, and write your standards. Um, we know that in many schools, you need to have your learning standards, um, your language objectives and so forth. So I always kind of think, okay, who's in my classroom? So if I was teaching a sixth grade class, a ninth grade class, you know, I might have 30 kids. And out of the 30 kids, I have all these different levels. Take a look. Right. So I have my kids. In fact, I might have a kid who just, you know, is a new arrival and doesn't have any English skills, right, as far as um, language skills. Uh, he's non-English speaker. And but you know what? I also have a number of ex kids who are in the expanding. And what does that mean? Well, it means, you know, when you talk to them, they have a pretty good grasp on the conversational English. Right. However, <laughs> What we start to notice is when they are reading, uh, they might not know a lot of vocabulary, um, and definitely when they're writing. Uh, their academic writing skills are just not there. We see it through the data. We also see it when they produce uh, some written piece, right? So sometimes we get a little bit um, misguided thinking, oh, they're English-only students. But no, nope, they, they do have those you know, areas that we need to work on. And then, of course, your bridging students are almost there to be reclassified. They're almost there. Uh, maybe they have, as you can see here, they have an increased understanding. Uh, they're able to use um, higher level vocabulary. So the bridging kids might, as, Je as Jenny, we were talking about earlier, feel more comfortable with that subject as a topic. And so they, or, or they might have learned some English in their country or have come with some more background. And so they're really ready to contribute in a larger manner. Um, and you can see here, I highlighted just a couple of the standards, the common core standards. And then these are the ELD standards that I'm gonna focus on, on this lesson. Uh, Jenny, what do you do? So yeah. I, wanted to, I wanted to jump in and say that even though Araceli and I come from an English background and we are accustomed to, to teaching the English standards, this is something that is relevant to all the content areas. We're talking about the ELD standards that are supposed to be you know, a part of each content area's instruction. Mm -hmm. 